By the time Walter McFarland graduated from high school in 1962, he had become the first Punahou athlete to earn nine varsity letters. Blessed with size, athleticism, and speed, Walter dominated the gridiron, hardwood, and track. In doing so, he gained the respect of not only his teammates, but of his competitors as well. Let me tell you how I first met Walter. It was at Alexander Field. It was a dual meet, track meet. I was a sophomore. I was on the track team. I didn't want to be on the track team. But our football coach said I had to run track. And he said I was going to run the mile relay. Never ran the event before. Never ran one time around the track before. I get the baton. I'm at least 100 yards ahead of whoever's behind me. And I start sprinting out. And I said, this is not so bad. And I hit the Eva turn, come around the Eva turn. And then I started to hear the, some footsteps in the distance. Boom, boom, boom. By the time I came out of the turn, there was a flash that went by me, and it was Walter. So when I first met him, I didn't meet him face to face. I met him back to face, his back to my face. By the time I crossed the finish line, he was walking back towards me. That's the first time I saw him. That's the first time I, I, I met him. And I looked at him and I said to myself, God, this guy's a stud. He's handsome. He's built. He looks like he's part of Hawaiian. What is he doing at Punahou? In Walter's senior year, 61-62 school year, I was in fourth grade. And so in the fall of 1961, when they had that awesome team, uh, as a fourth grade boy, you um, adored and admired and wanted to emulate all the Punahou football players. All of us in the fourth grade wanted to be number 82, Walter McFarlane, because uh, he was all world, uh, he was unbearably handsome, uh, he did multi-sports. Uh, when we went to playground on Bartwick, we argued about who was going to be number 82. Uh, and in art, we used to go paint our favorite pictures, and there we'd be painting pictures of the photo football team, 82s that we always wanted to be. After high school, Walter played football at Washington State University and then returned to Punahou, where over the course of 36 years, he coached and taught physical education and math, becoming a role model for generations of future Buff and Blue sports stars. When I got into high school, I remember uh, Walter, after Washington State, came back to teach in the academy mathematics department. I think he taught algebra or algebra two. And I remember the, the, the young women in my class and the class just below me uh, uh, literally swooning in his class because again, this unbearably handsome, wonderful guy. I remember he had white uh, uh, short sleeve shirts with a skinny tie, uh, which was the dress code for the men of those, those days. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm not sure the girls could concentrate in class because they just were, were swooning over him. Since retiring from teaching in 2002, Walter has enjoyed the company of his many children and grandchildren and still finds time to substitute teach a PE class on occasion. The Punahou Hall of Fame welcomes Walter McFarland, class of 1962.